Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List Summer Special, a chance to showcase some of our favorite stops for the summer right here in the Lone Star State. Next up, we head just down the road from Galveston to Houston to go to a place that's known for blocking out the sun and getting out of this hot Texas heat. Here is our stop at the Houston Cistern. Houston has always sparkled, and the hustle and bustle of downtown is apparent each and every day. But underneath this big old city is something a bit more serene than the city streets of H-Town that was almost forgotten. It was just sitting there. Judy Nyquist with the Buffalo Bayou Partnership brought us to the banks of the bayou, which happens to be in the shadow of the space city. Just prepare to be amazed. These are the doors leading to the mysterious sister. <laughs> Would have never expected anything to be behind this, but no. this is interesting. All right. Judy took us to some low-key lockdown doors that led the way to the sister, a recently acquired acquisition that's been filled with agua for ages. So this is the entrance. This is the entrance. It snakes along um, just about, I don't know, 30 feet. After this very enclosed passageway, we're all of a sudden going to feel um, like uh, Alice and Alice in Wonderland as we enter the space. Very neat. All right, after so you. So here we go. Wow. That is amazing. Built in 1926 to supply the city with water, it was forgotten for decades in the dark until this grand space sprung a leak in the 2000s. Initial plans called for constructing the cistern into a place to park. So when you guys entered in here, it was completely dark. When they came down and shined the flashlight, they saw this absolutely magnificent columned space. Obviously, as soon as they saw this, um, they knew that it was destined for much grander <laughs> things than for parking. For nearly 100 years, this 87,000 square foot cistern held on to 15 million gallons of water. It's sort of something that sounds so antique that you would not expect something like this to be in a city like Houston's. 221 concrete columns measuring 25 feet tall and about six inches of water make up this space that messes with your senses. The reflection is something un unbelievable. It's just, it, as you said, it completely plays with your own personal perspective and throws you off balance. It looks as if these columns are just continuous and it's actually a reflection on the water. The deception in the perception gets the biggest reception from visitors. It just messes with your mind. Completely. Prior to heading inside, we do have a few rules, regulations that we need to go over. Touring the cistern started in 2016 and despite the large scale space, only about 30 folks are allowed in at a time. But that's enough to properly showcase the cistern's 17 second echo. Some think it's a bit spooky. Others side with the serene solitude. Either way, getting to see this sunken site is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. It was certainly unusual to think of an idea to take this space and do something new with and really treasure it for what it was and not try to make it something else or just destroy it. It's very special, we are very lucky.